In Japan, more than 50 million tons of waste is produced from households every year. Among this waste, the volume of packaging and containers occupy 60% of the total waste. In order to reuse these packaging and containers as a useful resource, a Containers and Packaging Recycling Law was created in April 1997. In April 2000, this law was expanded to plastic containers and packaging. Here we are going to introduce Sapporo Plastic Recycle Company Limited. Together with Sapporo City, this facility has been cooperating with the Ecotown project of the city with the goal of zero emissions and adopting the containers and packaging recycling law of the country. The facility was established for the purpose of utilising plastic waste collected and divided by Sapporo City and of returning plastic waste to its original form, petroleum. The plastic liquefaction facility is located in Sapporo Industrial Park where recycling facilities are concentrated. This recycling park was built in Nakanuma Town, in the east ward of Sapporo City. The complex mainly performs mid-processing, which deals with industrial waste. It extends over 23 hectares and consists of 10 facilities that process waste, such as construction waste, old tyres, kitchen refuse, concrete waste and oil waste. The plastic liquefaction facility is adjacent to Nakanuma Plastic Waste Division Centre of Sapporo City. Its construction started in January 1999 and completed in March 2000. Its total size is 7,600 square metres and more than 40 tonnes of plastic waste is processed daily. The distinctive characteristic of this facility is its dehydrochlorination process, a highly technological process of liquefaction which PVC, polyvinyl chloride, does not need to be separated from other plastic waste. All plastics can be liquefied together here. The normal pressure separator was designed with a focus on safety. The machine uses the product oil as its energy source for its heating process and it is designed for adopting a simple process without using a catalyst. The plastic liquefaction facility is engaged in the following processes. In order to send the plastic waste into the liquefying machine efficiently, foreign substances and humidity are removed first. The waste is then moulded into a pellet. This is the pre-treatment process. Then the pellet is heated in the desalinating machine and is separated into chlorine acid as hydrogas from the PVC plastic waste. This is the desalinating process. After the chlorine acid is removed, the molten plastics are funnelled into the thermal cracking machine and are heated further to crack oil gas. This is the thermal decomposition process. Oil gas is produced by the thermal cracking process and is liquefied and stored in the decomposed oil storage drum. It is then refined and collected at the product oil collecting tower, producing finished product oil. This is the product oil collecting process. After desalinating, the gas burner separates organic substances that are contained in dissolved hydrogen chloride gas. They come into contact with water in the hydrochloric acid absorbing tower where it is collected as hydrochloric acid. This is the hydrochloric acid process. The following processes are now going to be introduced step by step. First, plastic waste collected by the Nakanuma Plastic Dividing Centre close to this facility are transferred into this building.
In the pre-treatment process, the plastic waste is crushed in the crusher and is then dried by the dryer. Foreign substances are removed by the wind separator and the magnetic separator. Then it becomes a pellet at the granulator. And these granulated substances will be stored in the feedstock storage silo. In the next step, the liquefying process is explained. First, during the desalinating hydrogen separating process, pellets are taken into the hopper and sent to the desalinator. Next, at the desalinator and the molten tank, the temperature is controlled and chlorine is separated from the PVC as chlorine gas. At the thermal cracking machine, molten plastic is separated from the hydrogen chloride and heating is continued to produce oil gas. Substances that cannot become oil gas are emitted here as liquefied residues. These residues mainly consist of carbon components and are used as fuel as a clean alternative to coal. Oil gas separated at the thermal separator is liquefied and stored at the separated oil tank. During the process of product oil collection, the oil is divided into light oil, middle oil and heavy oil at the product oil collecting tower and is then stored in three different tanks. Organic substances are separated from the hydrogen chloride gas and burned in the gas burner. After the organic substances are filtered, the hydrogen chloride gas comes into contact with water and is collected as hydrochloric acid. From the hydrogen chloride absorbing tower, gas is emitted and becomes harmless at the abatement tower. Gas emitted from the product oil collecting tower is neutralised at the off-gas scrubber and combusted completely to become harmless. This is a summary of the oil liquefying facility. When one tonne of waste from households includes PVC admixture, 10% in ratio, 700 kilograms of product oil can be produced from the plastic waste. Sapporo Plastic Recycle Company Limited was established in October 1998 and started its commercial operation in April 2000. This plant was designed and constructed in partnership with Toshiba, Mitsui and the Sapporo City Government. Processing plastic waste in this facility is proven and confirmed to be completely safe. Waste that comes from our households from our town can become a useful resource once again. Waste can be reproduced as a commodity over and over again. Recycling natural resources contributes not only to our community as landfills and commodities, but also encourages our society to reduce waste and increase public understanding for environmental protection and green energy. Please contact Clean Industries for more information on our proven plastic pyrolysis and gasification systems via email at sales at cleanindustries.com.